Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm looking at Rebel. I keep getting people asking me, can you do more paintings in Rebel? And I don't own the app. So I went off to the website and there is a, an online version embedded in a web page that you can use. And I'll, I'll put the link on the screen so you can, and in the description so you can find it easy. But you can just sort of mess about with uh, this version just to get a feel of what Rebel's about. Uh, it's really trimmed down. There's not a lot of features, but it is really good. So I thought it would be fun just to see if I could actually produce a painting on this web-based uh, version of Rebel. So uh, we've got a few tools along the bottom. There's no posh menus or anything. They're just sort of little squares with some words over. So if we look at the color, first of all, I can slide the U control to change the color. And then we've got saturation, which I can change. And then this B, I'm not sure what B stands for, but if I slide it, it doesn't seem to work too well. It's a bit slow, but if I tap it, it works great, but basically that changes the um, the light and dark of the color. And then we've got the brush size. So what I thought I'd do, I'd, I'd begin with a really sort of dark color, but near, near to black. Take the brush size down small, because you've only got one brush. You haven't got a lot to play with, but I wanted a pencil. I wanted to sketch something out. I've only got one layer. So this could go terribly wrong. And uh, leave the pressure, take the water down a little bit. And then I'll explain these tools, I guess, if I use them or um, when I use them. So I'm gonna begin with a little sketch. So here we go. I'm gonna, um, it's, well, it's quite thick. Uh, I'm just going to press, if I press canvas, it clears the, uh, the area. Oh, does it? I oh, know it chooses different canvases and clears it as well. I quite like that one. Um, I'm just going to make the brush a tiny bit smaller. And I'm going to begin by sketching in a gate. Now, this isn't pencil. This is watercolor I'm drawing with because I've only got one brush. So... I'm guessing I'm going to lose all of this when I start putting color on. So, but it, it does give me kind of an idea of where I'm going, I guess. I guess. And it'll be interesting to see if this actually works or not. So far, so good. I've not done a painting with this, so we'll see. Uh, all right, I'm quite interested to see how it turns out. And if you. If it starts to lag at, at any point, you know, the more paint I put on and so on. So um, that's going to be interesting. So I'm just sort of, I've got a bit of a photo to look at, but I'm, I'm sort of distilling it a lot and taking a lot out of it because this is only going to be a really kind of uh, rough. Oh, you know what? Oh dear. That is a problem you just sort of randomly drawing let's clear it and start again get this in quick uh it, what, what was happening then it was um drawing even though my stylus was nowhere near the canvas it was a good 30 mil away and it, and yet it was still um drawing which is not cool that's not a good sign but don't forget this is an experimental app it's not anything for sale it's really unique because it's built in a web page uh it's not meant to be anything robust i don't think it's just to give you an idea of how corel works I think if I just make sure I take the stylus away and uh, now nah, that's interesting. Yeah, I think it would have happened there because the I, I, I pulled the Z um, pen away. 
and it left the cursor on the screen. This is really simplified to the actual photo. But you know, that's okay. And I've got some sort of green bushes here. And a little distant edge. Some foreground. So that's that's the sketch done. That bit's cool. Let's um, take it from there. So now I'm going to change the colour. So I'm bringing the um, light and shade up. Keep the saturation reasonably low. And I'm looking for a blue. About there. Take the saturation down a bit. Now if I put the tilt on. What happens there? Uh, oh, I need to make the brush size quite much bigger. I'm going to put the water full on, take the pressure down a bit. But if I start um, painting, it will run. The paint will run down. Is that going to happen? Might do if I put the pressure up a bit. There we go. Look. So I'm going to take the tilt off. Uh, take the pressure down again and paint back into that try and soften it off a little bit when you take your stylus off i think that's when it starts to run there is this issue where the pen puts lines randomly over it i don't know if this is going to work i'm going to change the color slightly i want to go a little bit more mauve purple Uh, I've got a technique where I'm lifting my brush away and that seems to be doing it now we've got a wet tool we can use and that just adds water to the canvas I believe so I should be able to add wet to that and soften it off and if I I can show the wet by clicking that yeah we can see we've got water there oh so i should be blending it is blending but it's not i suppose it's because i've got the pressure really low if i put the pressure up i wonder if that will make the water flow quicker not particularly but i'm quite happy with that that'll do for the sky uh it is flowing but it's going really slow isn't it let's get to let's get some trees in I'm going to try and keep the colours fairly pastel if I can. Pastel is that a word? I don't know. Um, I need to choose the paintbrush, don't I? Look at that's diffusing nicely. Obviously, I've got to kind of work my way around the trees. And the buildings because it will just take away i'll take the pressure down it will take away all of the um line work i've got let's change that um saturation a bit and also make it a little bit darker I'm being really careful, trying not to get that line to look how that flows. That's nice. That's cool. I'm liking that. I could take the brush size down a little bit and paint in. The shadow on that edge which also comes sort of along there Take the brush size down a bit more I don't know if the, the, the problem with this stylus is um, a Cintiq problem or the app problem I think it might be something to do with Cintiq because I've had this same problem 
with um, Corel Painter as well. So I'm, I'm wondering if it might be that. Right, I'm going to put some more shadows in here. Take the brush size up a little bit. Some more shadows. And. Oh, that's a nice green. Put a little bit of that in. And that's probably what I'm going to use for here. Is that kind of merch? Yeah, it is. It is. Right. That, oh. That's not good. There's no undo. I wonder if I can repair this. Let's try and repair it. Um, I need the green and I need it to be quite dark. I'll take the brush size down. And... Uh, got this roof going off there. So this is going to be my uh, bush. This might be a bit tricky, but we'll see, we'll see. And then put in Actually, I'm going to go for a bring that up a bit. That's it. A more sort of grey colour for these distant trees. Take the water right down. I should be able to dry the, the canvas. I should be able to put a, an order edge on the bottom. Yeah, that's that's working. That's working okay. That put a line in, which is kind of all right. That's not. Good. It's not good. It's not good. If I touch it, it's all right. Um, I could let's try this blending brush make it a bit bigger choose a kind of pale blue let's see if I can blend it in maybe not I don't know let's try that And the array does oh, that works working all right. I'm kind of determined to to do this because I, I'm not so sure if it's if it's the Cinti or the app that's giving me the issues. And I can get this sort of blotchy colour off. That's cool. So I should be able to lift that off. Oh, that's all right. That's working okay. And I can now... Go back in with the um, blue. So choose me paintbrush again. I'm going to keep the water fairly low. Let's 
So is that going to run out? That's not too bad. Go back a bit darker. Put the pressure up. So I'm kind of drawing with it now, more more than painting. So I've basically what I've done, I've put the pressure up, taken a lot of water out of it, and I'm just sort of brushing in a few edges and things. I've got to flow. I guess I can choose what select some water. And wet that a bit. I wonder, wonder what smear does. Hmm. Let's take the. I've just sort of. Put too much thick paint on there, I think. I'll just lift that out again. It's a delicate operation, this is. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. Right, I want to work with this um, same colour. I don't want a lot of water because I want quite a bit of definition. might be too much of a brush size that's that's okay though because that's like a shadow and then I want put the pressure down a bit add a bit more water because I want this to blend away that's sort of where we go in I need to get rid of some of this I like the way the paint stays in the grain now we need a red color uh, where's that gonna be red brick that's pretty much the color I want actually I think Maybe a bit more orange. Move down to this end. I've got to fly out. Yeah, that's uh, that's looking good. I'm, um, you know, that's not to be knocked at. Right, let's um, think about these trees. I think I'm going to go kind of with this blue color, a little bit darker. Uh, maybe a bit more water and it's probably a bit too dark I've got to kind of keep my fence looking good there we go The brush size down a bit. I think that's going to kind of flow. Whoops. 
There we go, that was nearly a disaster. It's doing it again now, look. If I find, if we're, we're basically just starts drawing as soon as I, t even though the pen's not on the canvas, it starts to draw. So I'm just going to use my um, eraser again. Just, just to try and get rid of some of that. That's all right. That's cool. Let's get rid of that. Um, back to me paint. And I've got sort of a few leaves that are quite dark. Could sort of and then I'm going to go for a green but pretty light lots of water I just want to fill in a few of these gaps I wonder if I can put a light color over a dark color you can Oh, that's and it runs together nicely. Like it. Very cool. So that's pretty much the painting done. I just need to put a little bit of detail in. So I'm going to take the brush size down, take the water down and dry the canvas. Oh, I haven't painted the fence, have I? Let's, um, let's just get something in for the fence. So I'm putting the water back up because I just want a delicate wash on there if I can. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm going to take the water down. Go back to a sort of a darker bluey color. That's it and just put a few branches in oh, really did that really happen just take the eraser and just try and get rid of that a bit if I can but be careful closing stages of the painting this could go Terribly wrong. Doesn't seem to want to. Oh, I've got no pressure, that's why. I, I'm really enjoying this actually, you know, considering it's just like a web page. Maybe just put a little bush there. Like that, and one here. There we go. Turn that brush size down again. Oh, 
Fine. No. I think what I need to do is just get the eraser, get this out, and then call it a day because I, I, the, this could get ruined. And I don't, I really don't think it's the app, you know. I think, I really do think it's something to do with Cintiq. Let's sign it. Let's risk signing it. There we go. Done it. Watercolour painted in the um, Rebel web page. Now, it'd be cool, wouldn't it, to be able to save that? Because, you know... Um, there's no way to save this, but I've got a little tool. So I'm going on to my other monitor and it's called um, Snipping Tool. And basically, oh, there it is. I'm going to move that over to here. I'm going to choose New. And then what I can do, I can just trace a box around my painting. Like that. And there we are i've now got that um captured if click on the the old floppy disk if you remember them and i can call it whatever i like so i'm going to call it rebel web and then save it and um let's have a look at see Let's just see how big this picture is. I, I'm not expecting great things, obviously. Just need to open up Explorer. And choose. Here we go. I've got it here. So if I right click on it. Uh, go to properties. That's going to tell me how big it is. And it is. 897 by 447 pixels so it is really small um not the biggest um picture in the world but you know i mean it's it's just a little i suppose it's a novelty really let's just close that down it's just a novelty uh, to give you an idea of how rebel works but go along, give it a try, uh, see what you think, because it is fun, and I've enjoyed doing that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, because I've got lots of videos like this, and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.